Welcome to our channel, Science in a Nutshell, for juniors 4, 5 and 6. Adaptation concept. So, my dear students, let's have a deeper look to the word adaptation. Adaptation means a change over time by living organism, or we can say by species, and the word species means a group of living organisms to adapt to their environment through mutation. The word mutation means a change in the structure or the behavior of the living organism. The structure or the behavior. And the structure and the behavior of the living organism, we can put them together in one word, which we will call it traits. So again, what is as adaptation? It's a change over time or over many generations by living organism to adapt, which means to survive, stay alive and to reproduce which means to have babies of their own. And the word babies here, we can say it in a more scientific way, which means offsprings, which will be offsprings. And this process is done by mutation. The mutation is a change in the structure or the behavior of the animal. From the parents to their offsprings, from the living organism to their babies. The traits will be different, and this is called mutation. And the mutation helps the species, the group of animals, to have better survival ways. I think you now have a very good understanding for the adaptation concept and everything related to it. So now let's solve some questions and see whether we do understand the concept or we don't. Let's begin with question number one. What is the process by which species change over many generations through mutation? Hmm, is it pollination, photosynthesis, reproduction, adaptation? Yes, that's right. It's adaptation. Then we have the second question. Adaptation is a process by which species change over many generations through... Hmm, yes, that's right. Is it going to be mutation? Hmm, can you think about it? Yes, it's mutation. Let's now have a great question. I love this question. It's my favorable. It's saying the shape and size of a bird's beak had changed from the parent to their offspring. This change in the physical beak trait is called... So it's telling us a story about a bird that had a certain shape and size for their beak. But with time, this bird had babies, offsprings, and their babies had a different shape and size in their beak. So what happened was a mutation, adaptation, or preservation, or niche. If you remember, I told you at the beginning of the video that mutation means a change in the structure or the behavior of the animal with time. And here, can you see this? Yes, that's right. It's a change in the physical or, I mean, the structure of the beak of the bird. That's why I call it a change in structure, which is mutation. Now, let's solve with each other question number four. What is the change of traits such as features or behaviors? Features means structures of the body. So it will be, is it habitat? 
Is it adaptation, mutation, or niche? If there are words in the choices that you don't understand, leave them, exclude them, don't think about them, because the word that is right is here. Can you tell me what is the answer? It's mutation. That's right, because I told you. Mutation is the change in the traits, and the traits means change in the structure or the behaviors of the animal. Number five, we have mutations over time and generations can improve. Improve means to make it better. An organism's survival, just one organism survival, or air pollution, or species survival, or water pollution. Species means a group of animals. So here it means that the mutation will help to a group of animals to be able to survive and have better survival chances. So the answer here will be number C, which is a species survival, a group of animals or group of living organisms, sorry, uh, survival, okay? They will have better chances to survive. Then with, que uh, with question number six, organism that cannot do what will die off? Well, let me tell you that anyone of the living organism, anyone of us or any other living organism, if they do not adapt to their environment, we will die. We will not be able to survive. So what do you think the answer will be here? Is it recycle, produce, decompose, or adapt to the environmental changes? That's right. If living organism doesn't adapt to the environmental changes, which is happening around them, they will die. Now, with question number seven. The beneficial traits can be adapted what to allow species to survive environmental change and increase in population. Is it over time and generation? Quickly over one generation? Over time as the trait is learned and taught to others? Suddenly when a species decide to change. So I told you that the traits can be adapted or can be changed over many time and generations, right? It, ha it needs time, big amount of time, and also over many generations. That's right. So it will be number A will be the correct answer over time and generations. Question number eight. Biological adaptation primarily include changes that will do what in an environment? Well, biological means it is related to living organism. So living organism adaptation actually will help them to have a survival chance in an environment. So this means that we will choose number C, which is enhanced survival. Enhanced mean, means to make it better, better chances for survival, because they are doing adaptation. That's right. So now we have finished the questions of part one. See you in part two. And don't forget to watch the video for adaptation I leave it for you in the first comment and it will be a brief summary about animal adaptation. And in the description as well, you will find a uh, file that you can download with a very interesting paper that has all the information about animal adaptation in just one paper to sum up for you everything in a brief summary, easy, and will help you to solve after it very quickly. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.